My name is Irene Moridi and I work with Plant Village. Um, as most of you know, we are based in mainly Busia and Bungoma. Today we're going to introduce to you a new method of carrying your phone to the farm and actually using it to detect diseases and pests on your farms using the smartphone. As we all know in our farms and especially in our cassava farms we have diseases such as uh, brown spot, CMD, CBSD and pests such as green mite and red mite and this is a problem most of us detect but at times it could be difficult to distinguish which is which from the other and we as Plant Village we came up with a mobile application known as Plant Village Nuru and it's freely available to anyone with a smartphone and today I'm going to introduce to you what Plant Village Nuru can do, how it was made, users of Plant Village Nuru, what it can do, its benefits and how to get it. Um, so Plant Village Nuru is a mobile application that identifies diseases and pests on plants. Um, Nuru is a Swahili name uh, representing Mwangaza. So it's a way of giving our farmers hope in their farms using technology, just for them to know that diseases are not the end of life in our farms. Um, Nuru is not made any different from what See It Grow is made. Um, we use technologies such as computer vision, TensorFlow, Azure, TF Lights, um, Android and iOS to develop the app. Uh, so we have uh, our agronomists who work with farmers directly one-on-one -on -one and we take images from the farms and then we convert them into a language that our computers can understand and convert them into the phones that we all use. And these phones can be used to tell us which of my plants are diseased and which of my plants are healthy in the farm. And what is the percentage, what resources can I use to get the information that I need, and what communities can I connect with using a mobile application. Um, so at the moment, our model can detect CBSD, healthy plants, uh, cassava green mites, cassava red mites, BLS and CMD. Uh, Plant Village Nuru app is freely available to anyone and it can be used by both farmers and experts in the field of agriculture such as researchers, extension officers, ministry and the government including international organizations. From the image that is portrayed you can see we are distributed all over the world and this is because our app can speak different languages humans can easily understand. So what can Plant Village Nuru do? Um, if you have Nuru downloaded on your phone, we have its homepage that displays the weather patterns on a daily and weekly basis. And then on the Nuru portion, we have different artificial intelligence systems developed. We have one that can detect for armyworm, one, can detect, one that can detect cassava diseases and mites, one that can detect diseases on Irish potatoes, sweet potatoes, wheat, and other crops. Then we also have a portion that allows people to work with communities one-on-one. -on -one. Here you can ask questions that you feel are kind of pressing and we provide answers within 24 hours. Um, Nuru is an assistant to you and it also functions the same way you'd work with someone else, just that it's an application. But Nuru is alive. It can talk, it can guide you through your farm, and it can help you determine diseases in your farms. It gives real-time real feedback and it shows you the symptoms or diseases it has recognized. So it can also help you teach. It can also um, teach you like the diseases on your farms in case you're not sure which is which. And it can give you advice on management or control practices and connects you with farmers on agriculture. To, connects farmers to agricultural experts, seed entrepreneurs, and other Nuru users in different regions, either within your region or in different regions within your area. And it also gives weather updates tailored to monitor farmers in the region. Just so you know, all this can be done offline. You don't need mobile data or to be connected to Wi-Fi to use these features of Nuru. 
Um, again, Nuru is alive and it has been translated to different languages. Those of us who do not understand English as much because not all of us knew English as our first language, you can find Nuru speak Swahili. If you're not in Kenya, maybe you're in another country. we also in Malawi and Malawi, uh, Western Kenya and other parts of Africa. It can speak other languages and it can give you updated weather patterns. E.g. today you are not prepared like to know if it's good to plant your cassava so you can use our app to identify where different weather patterns and gives you resources it can be used in different areas and provides real-time feedback to crop surveys um, this here displayed is an example of how the app works especially on the cassava ai and you can scout different crops on the farms we we it will guide you on which crop to move to and it can talk to you it can tell you um, i've detected a certain disease on your crop so would you like to move to the next crop would you like advice on how to manage whatever uh, your plants are suffering from and it's easy to use it is like talking to someone again one-on-one -on -one, very simple um, this is just an example of a uh, disease diagnosis that maybe has been detected and an example here is CMD and it also gives you advice on how to manage it and where you can get like clean planting materials. Um, now in case you're uh, an agriculture expert and you're wondering uh, how can I access the information that Nuru gives maybe on a database we have an open platform known as Edge Observatory and it's linked on our app. And here you can see like in Kenya, for example, just in the last three months, we sh it shows surveys in Western Kenya and the coastal region, the surveys that were conducted. Um, our, our experts will check each of the surveys and in the region and then like answer the questions in case need be. Mm, this is our business model. So we work with experts and we have a team in Kenya known as Dream Team Kenya. These are extension officers working with our farmers one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we have our lead farmers such as Josephine. I can't see her again. And then we have our following farmers who work with farmers such as Josephine. And then we have communities that are formed by both lead farmers and following farmers. Mm, from 2019 all the way to 2025 we have our model and our projects are as follows from 2012 uh, to 2019 we were working with farmers in Busia, Bungoma and Kilifi and we we worked with 300,000 farmers on cassava disease management um, then from 2018 to 2025 we are targeting 1 million farmers 10,000 farmer groups in more than seven counties. So I am calling up to all of us, uh, when you go home or when you go back to your communities, please tell people to use Nuru so that you help us reach our target. Then from 2022 to 2025, we, we plan on, or we've started working with aggregation centers in Busia, Bungoma, Kilifi, Siaya, Homa Bay. Migori and Baringo. So we intend to help farmers find markets for their cassavas. Um, since the development of, of Nuru, uh, we have had success stories. And this here is an example of the different diseases that have been detected by the app. Um, on one side and the other side it's general. As you can see this, the curve is exponential and in future we just hope the curve goes up, upwards and onwards. Um, in case you have your mobile phone here, smartphone, you can scan the QR code and you'll be able to be directed to the app. Our uh, app works on both Android and iOS. These are some of our donors and partners and we'd like to thank all of you for taking time to come here. Um, in case you have any questions or clarification, kindly reach out to me. Thank you.